How you doing, I'm Jerry Joseph? How you doing, I'm the general manager of the Miami Heat. Well, um, I'd like to sell my. I would like to join your team. What attributes do you have to be on my team? Well, I'm a six two four. I have very long arms. Um, I averaged 17 points and 12 rebounds in college. And players like me, um, we we have a lot to prove, so we don't have time to slack off. We're always worried about someone being better than us. You know, I always play with a chip on my shoulder. Uh, that's what I like to hear. Tell me something beyond basketball. Well, uh, my brother. Rohan Brown, who plays for the South. And um, also, I mean, I grew around, also grew up around a lot of talent. You know, I play ball in the pro in Hartford, Connecticut, with a lot of NBA players. So I feel like that. I'm, I'm ready to play with them. You know. Um, what situation can impact our team in a good way? Well, yo, you so got it. Pause it, pause it. All right, what's your motivation to play in basketball? Because a lot of players on my team have a why in playing basketball. Well, my why is I was raised by a single mom, and uh, I don't know. I never had no one to teach me to play basketball. Like, I always learned by myself. Like I spent countless hours on the court, every single park in Hartford, every single place in Connecticut I find by myself, just dribbling my ball constantly. Uh -huh. Like I just I built I build myself. I've been I built myself. I spent all the hours of working on my craft every day to make me make myself the best player I can be. But there's like for me, players like me, the sky is the limit what I see. Alright, stop. I've been doing a lot of like well you hear it on the news and uh, the sports centers and the internet. You got great team building skills. And I see that you pick players that fit the system perfectly. And I know that's the reason why you scheduled this interview with me because I feel like I might fit the system within your team. That sounds good. That's what I like to hear from a player of your caliber. Thank you. You gotta put things in this proper perspective, and I'm not engaging in hyperbole here when I say this. And I've said this on several occasions. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the NBA's all-time leading scorer. This is a young man that can legitimately challenge that record and become ultimately the all-time leading scorer in NBA history. He is simply unstoppable. When you consider the fact that he's 6'10", that he can pull up from 30, that he's got a handle, that he can be ambidextrous, he can use his right or use his left hand, he can score inside, he can score outside. He's got a mid-range game here's the thing that really elevates him about all of the above all of those guys whether it's and i'm certainly not comparing anybody to michael jordan or whatever but you've got like a four to five inch height advantage on a michael jordan you look at bird bird didn't have that kind of handle or that kind of athleticism you look at magic he didn't have that kind of shot you look at a wilt chamberlain or kareem abdul jabbar they needed people to get them the ball because they did their damage inside even though kareem abdul jabbar with the sky hook and shoot it from anywhere but you couldn't dribble the ball 94 feet kevin durant can legitimately play four different positions on the court if he wanted to he could play point if he wanted to he could play two guard small forward power forward in terms of offensively there is simply nothing that he can't do outside of posting up a bigger dude because obviously he's relatively slim that's about it this dude is the real deal and as far as i'm concerned he is the leading candidate for league mvp honors it is easy right now lamarcus aldridge deserves consideration because he's having a big time year lebron james can never be ignored but there is no doubt right now that if the mvp voting were today kevin durant would win league mvp honors it is that serious this boy is something special